Hey guys, so I've been thinking lately of some videos that I could make that maybe are a little bit different to what I normally make. I feel like I've been making sort of a routine amount of videos, the same videos each month, and I just wanted to inject some new videos into my channel. So today's video is going to be my top five underrated books. Books that I have absolutely loved, but I feel don't get very much attention on booktube, I don't see very often. Um, despite they, they might have some good ratings on Goodreads, but actually when it comes to the booktube community, maybe I don't see them very often. So that's what I want to do today. Um, I have five books here. I could have chosen way more than five, but I thought that I would make some top five videos every now and then. And it would be nice if they were sort of short, sharp videos. So the first book I'm going to start with is Waterfall by Lisa T. Bergren. Now, if you followed my channel for a while, you'll know this series is one of my favourites. Um, I haven't mentioned it a lot lately because um, I've completed the series. Um, the series is finished now. But um, this is an absolutely fantastic um, time travel series. It's about two sisters that travel back in time to medieval Italy and it's so well done. But I don't see it talked about very often. I don't know if it's because um it is considered christian um fiction but it really is not heavy on that that's not the focus it's all story driven um it's mainly only christian in nature because of how like the time that they go back in in time to medieval city is obviously um during that time religion is more part of everybody's day-to-day -day life um i wouldn't say that it's sort of a preachy book in any way but this is an absolute must read series guys if you haven't read it it's one that i highly recommend um it actually has like 14,593 ratings on goodreads and i think it deserves more than that um it's an absolutely fabulous series and it, it's a must read one for me um Next book that I want to recommend is Of Beast and Beauty by Stacey J. Um, I actually buddy read this book with Ryan a couple of years ago and it's one of the best retellings I've read. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was very clever. Um, it's probably got one of the saddest chapters in it of a book, you know, that I've probably ever read. It brought tears to my eyes. Um, I think that this one hasn't had very much attention. And I know it came out around about the same time as Cruel Beauty by, I think it's Rosamond Hodge. And I think that people sort of were drawn more to that one than this one. But this book is absolutely fabulous, guys. And I don't know why more people haven't read it. It's absolutely beautiful. And I definitely feel like it should have got more attention than what it has got. Um, it was a five-star read for me. I absolutely adored it. It was, it was just so well done. And on Goodreads, this only has 6,044 ratings. Um, I don't know why it's got so few ratings. I thought it was absolutely brilliant and I find it quite sad that not more people have read this and I've hardly ever seen it on booktube. Um, but that is, if you enjoy fairy tale retellings, um, that is a brilliant Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, the next one, you guys have probably guessed that this one would be in here. Um, and that's Written in Red by Anne Bishop. This is book one in one of my absolute favourite series, The Others. Um, I've, I've seen a few people review it on YouTube, but it's not one of those books that you see everywhere in everyone's halls, everyone talking about it. And I don't know why. It's one of the quirkiest, most unique series. It's absolutely fabulous. And I bang on about this all the time on my channel for a reason absolutely love it on goodreads it does have um i think it's 21,978 ratings which is the most so far out of the other um the three books so far but um like i say it's not one that i've seen many people talk about on booktube which i think is a great shame because it's a fabulous book and it's completely different to anything else i've ever read and i love it for that reason um next book that i want to share is Hero by Samantha Young. Um, I think Samantha Young in general is a very underrated author. Um, I know I've talked to um, a couple of subscribers about this. Um, Samantha Young is not is an author that I see pop up. Like I see Colleen Hoover pop up, Abby Glines pop up. Um, who else do we talk about? 
um, I'm trying to think now, they've all escaped me, but she's just an author that you just don't see people talk about. She writes really great um, adult contemporary romances. Um, I could have picked any one of her books, like um, On Dublin Street, the first book in her Dublin Street novels, again, is a book that I feel like doesn't get shown very often. I mean, we everyone always hold like Fifty Shades of Grey, like Sylvia Day. I wouldn't go as far as to say they're like that, like they're full erotica, you know, novels. They are adult contemporary romances and they're really, really well done. Hero is a standalone by her, which I absolutely loved. Um, the general consensus is people didn't enjoy it as much as On Dublin Street. I think I preferred it that little bit more. I absolutely loved this novel. And um, I would like to see more people read Samantha Young on BookTube because I, you just don't see her and I don't know why. I thought she was um, a great author and I'm definitely invested in picking up more of her books when they are released. Um, and the last book that I want to share with you is Touch of Power by Maria V. Snyder. This is the first book in her Healer series. Um... I actually haven't finished this trilogy. I do have the last book um, on my shelf, but I haven't read it yet. Um, I loved the Poison Study um, trilogy by her. Um, and then I picked this series up and I've also liked what I've read of this so far. I just feel like this is a series that not many people have talked about. Um, I don't know why, because I know like sort of YA fantasy has become like a big thing um, recently. What with Sarah J Maas... Um, um, Alison Goodman, um, oh god, all the authors immediately go out of my head. Um, just YA fantasy in general has has become sort of, I mean, a few years ago it was paranormal romance, now it seems to be YA fantasy. Um, but I don't know why Maria V. Snyder, um, this series seems to get overlooked, but I absolutely loved it. It's about a girl who has healing powers, but healers have sort of been tracked down and kind of exterminated because... Um, there was a great plague and it's believed that healers sort of contributed to that plague um, so they're not really trusted anymore but um, people find out about um, Avery and they want to use her powers so um, I really really enjoyed the series I am looking forward to finishing the series sometime this year um, so yeah those are my top five books that I consider underrated or under talked about underappreciated um, not just sort of on booktube but in general um they're some of my absolute favorites and i'm not i'm not one to force my books on other people i don't want to say you have to read this i'm not someone that will take a book and smack them in the head with it and say you need to read this kind of um but i just feel like they should be given more of a chance maybe i think they get overlooked and i don't know why so that's it for today guys um if you've got any suggestions for a top five video i would be very grateful if you would leave them in the comments because i'm sort of inter interested in making those kind of videos um in the future just sort of quick videos i can share with you my top five it could be you know top five best or top five worst whatever um leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to take them on board. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all soon. Happy reading.